YouTube, we're here with the Hawkeye High Tech. It's now motorized. My glider lasted all of like one week because <laughs> I just don't like chasing gliders. So this is what we're gonna be using to power it. It's a 2S, uh, 300 milliamp, Nanotech 35 through 70C um, with the E-Flight end. That's just what I started with, so that's what I'm gonna keep going with. I made a pocket up at the front. Um, initially, I was trying to center of gravity this plane with this bigger wing. This is from another high-tech uh, Hawkeye that's a little bit different than the Hawkeye that this one was from. And we like the original wing just fine. And then we got an E-Flight um, T2204, 2300 KV uh, that's running a regular conventional 50-40, so five four five prop bull nose with a little bit of rounding on it it's painted that's just what i had lying around and uh, of course we took one of the e-flight ends that we used when we were doing a mod on another one and of course the esc i think it's a 12 amp esc but either way the wire goes back to the orange rx ultra micro i took the bind plugs bent them over and cut them so that it, it kind of smoothed over this is this is going to be like the third flight um, it does have stabilization, just rudder and elevator, and the thing flies glorious. So, got a little bit of expo going. Flies really easy. About 50%, excuse me, about 40% throttle right there. Um, she'll go quick. That's 100% throttle. She's got lots of power. But then that's 0% throttle there. She'll fly just fine. Stall point is very low, and the tendency, because of the dihedral on the wing tips, uh, for, for tip stall is low. But when you really get it low, it does will it will tip stall on you if you're not careful. Very quiet setup. You can roll it around just fine, like it has ailerons. In fact, I have mixed in ailerons and rudder controls. Uh, so basically, they're tied together, but uh, it's just such a good flying plane. It's surprising to me how good it is. Oh, and by the way, in case you hear all the explosions <laughs> and bullets and gunshots, that would actually be the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. Thanks for coming back for some more, guys. Hope you're not stuck in your house watching the computer on the actual 4th. But uh, let's see if we can do one more pass. You want to trade me sides, please? Just hop behind me real quick. There you go. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I was hoping you were down behind me. I know. I'm sorry. Screwed me up. Great call. I was gonna try to do a low pass here. Kind of flying a little bit weird, a little wonky right this second. I'll show you guys a landing real quick here. Just cutting the throttle, about 10% throttle at that. And you don't even need to really worry about the prop. So let's just uh, take it off in the back. It's all cut off. If you're landing it in grass, you don't, you don't even really need braking on, but I'm probably gonna try to figure out um, what the ESC is. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a multi-rotor ESC, but it's programmed good enough to, to run the thing. I just wanna program braking maybe just so that when I stop it, I can stop it where the prop is sideways. Um, and I've got two rubber bands that actually hold this on because it's a different shape wing than the initial factory wing. And we have this little wedge that's cut in and it's just taped in for now. Um, little bamboo skewers that hold the rubber bands and then we put some plastic on the leading edge and trailing edge and I think what was going on on that last flight is that the wing got a little bit shifted so no big deal it's super easy and then you can you can actually move this wing back a little bit as your confidence increases and uh, she'll fly a little bit more aggressively then so I actually kind of like the way it flies with the wing back a little bit but it is a lot faster. But I feel like it's more responsive. So if you just put the wing back, get the center of gravity um, a little bit more nose heavy, then you can turn up your expo just really, really high. And she'll fly great. 
you really got to throw the sticks and turn the expo off but look how solid that looks and by the way it is dead calm right now I show my landing right now with this and it just it just it just seems a glider so I mean you wouldn't glide that big oh one other thing we did on this that was really helpful was I increased the size of the rudder I did that the same way as I do like all my other gliders. In fact, this came off the Arcus M. Uh, it's a piece of foam off of that and I just staked it in there and that's all there is to it. And I always do little adjustments. This is just, uh, I think it's 0.75 millimeter. Um, very small music wire. I just bend it. I wanted all the electronics back here uh, because I didn't want to fiddle with having a bunch of stuff up front. Well. It worked out really nice because it center of gravity out really close. Uh, the amount of counterweight I had up on the nose was just about commensurate to this minus the prop and the hot glue and a couple of different things that I had to do necessarily to get all this to go. There's a little bit of solder in there, so that would add up a little bit. But I'm probably in like seven or eight grams heavier, so very good. Now I'm gonna move that wing forward and show you how that thing performs. And we're about 12 seconds away from our five minute timer. If you want to fly it with the wing forward like that, she'll slow down real nice for you. And just nice, predictable, easy flyer. I prefer the way it flies with the wing back a little bit. It's not tail heavy now, so I don't want you guys to think that. It just flies a lot different. And being that it's three channel, I feel like the aileron, uh, the rudder to aileron tie, it, it seems more natural when you've got that center of gravity back over there. So let's uh, bring it in here for a little fast. And you can see we're kind of getting a little lower on power, so we'll probably go ahead and take a landing here. Cut the throttle. Just using the ailerons that aren't there. And then we'll just land it here in between the yards. Let me pause it for a second. So in closing, guys, it's a fun little toy. Um, I wish I would have started with not such a beat up crappy one, <laughs> but at the same time, you know, these little servos, I think were like $4, if that, I think they're like three something, two of them, the receiver was like maybe $10. Uh, if they're in stock, it's, it's orange. It's a DSM two receiver, excuse me, DSM X. Yeah. I don't know if you've already got your transmitter and then the batteries I'm using cost, I think they're like all of five bucks. I have one cable, okay, so the ESC is maybe seven or eight bucks, and then the motor is probably 10. So it's not a very expensive toy. I mean, you're probably $70 into this in total, and it's a really good flying trainer. The only thing I wish I would have done, that I can still do if I want, would be to have some ailerons, because it's just, it's cool to have ailerons. And honestly, if I do ailerons, I'll straighten the wing, or I might even do an anhedral wing, which would be kind of cool. But either way, it's really fun. I can get my son on this, and if he hits, the wing just shifts. It's no big deal. It's really easy to fix. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy 4th.